your server Gary will be right with you. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Um. <clears throat> Being here with Maria. Oh, I'm definitely like nervous, but you know, I've always had a connection to her. I have nothing but good vibes with Maria the more I get to know her. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Uh, I think we'll have some cocktails. I feel like your date is next. I don't think so. Really? No? Because he came and asked for a straw. You think he's gonna ask me on a date? Devil's advocate a little. If you know he's not good at asking things like that, right? Would you ask him out on a date? Outside of this world, I'd be like, babe, let's go on a date, period. Polly and I, we're in a good place right now, but I'm scared that when we leave Vegas, it's not gonna be like that. I know a lot of ways how to have fun in different cities. We could go to a beach and uh, prep a picnic and just lay there and talk, you know? Can't really do that here because I don't have control over it. I got you. Yeah. It's kind of just the risk I'm gonna have to take because I want to believe that this is more than just a month or two out of our lives every so often. I need to switch my up. I'm always drunk. <laughs> Don't burn the colors. No. Flip them off. Take that one out. That's that one. Take it out. Take, the, take it out. Take it out. <laughs> you know, these boys, they're amazingly stupid. But I'm going to try to train them and bring them in the right direction. Whatever. The sauce smells so nice, bro. I want to thank you for coming. It's a beautiful surprise. You remind me of Staten Island. I love it. Salute. 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 And to, Vin and to Vincenzo on his date. It's weird that we're here right now. I hated you three weeks ago. I hated you too three weeks ago, Maria. Amazing. Anyway, the point is, I'm here now. We're here now. And I need a lot of vodka. I feel like if we can make it through this dinner, it will be the big weight lifted off my shoulders. I feel like I could finally be myself, my true self around Vinny. You like oysters? Oh, look at you all fancy. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Vinny, I'm poor. <laughs> well, I grew up without any money as well. <laughs> Me and Maria had a lot of similarities the way we were raised. And I do think that at this point, it's important that she knows that stuff. My mother immigrated here from Sicily without, you know, any kind of trade or anything like that. Didn't have any savings accounts. Our electricity was always shut off. Yeah. We had no hot water. <laughs> it was just a weird situation. I know, trust me, I know. Yeah. Vinny, I feel like there's a lot of things that we joke about all the time, and it's never anything that's deep. And then finally, we got somewhere that's deep, and I understand him a little bit better than I did before. You want the meatball? Want to split it? No, sure. <laughs> you're good. So, switching gears. Oh boy. To mature people. Yes. This is my insurance for when you call me a saying again in five months. We are two people that like each other and like hanging with each other. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. I feel like maybe Vinny just goes on a lot of dates with girls who like assume that they're going out right after. And I'm just, I'm not a moron. We are not boyfriend and girlfriend in the slightest. We're just two people who are enjoying each other's company. It's not my first time around the block. I know we're not boyfriend and girlfriend after eating shrimp together. So with that being said, you can do what you want and I can do what I want and it'll be fine. Overall, my date with Maria was funny. It was comfortable, we had good food, and it was just like effortless. This is one of the best dates I've ever been on. We should definitely do this again. This is a great hang. <laughs> do you want to? Yes. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> so <laughs> Maybe I just come over. Maybe I ask your name. Then we go get together. Hope that you feel the same. So this is where you're staying right here? It smells like a butthole. Would you look what the wind blew in? Uh, who's over there? I don't know who that is. Am I, am I yeah, own? Yeah, maybe a good looking girl, huh? All right, now don't that classy.
Shut up, what's your problem? The date was a good time, it really was. And I enjoyed it and I felt comfortable enough and it felt natural enough for me to go ahead and Ah, uh, kids, kids, kids. I got broad clothes in my closet. Well, it's in the closet. <laughs> this thing fits. Las Vegas! What the? I love this. Vinny, where are you, Vinny? Sorry. Sorry, sorry about you. This is my next. Get the f out oh, of no, here. Oh, no, 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 no. Baby. Oh, Las Vegas. <laughs> Here's your honeymoon present. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. I don't really know what is happening with my life, but all I know is Uncle Nino is there and I'm half naked. This is not real. <laughs> no, it's. it's no. Oh. <laughs> Maria. Maria. Okay. I picked this up for you. Is this be last year's Yes, I love it. Like, honestly, this is all Paulie's fault. Prank war champion strikes again. Get the out of here. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> Las Vegas. Right, Vinny? Hi, Ian! Watch Jersey Shore Family Vacation every Thursday.